everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want you to meet Todd. He's the furriest member of the family and he loves back rubs and he likes to sit around all day. Yep, today I want to show you guys how I made his little teepee tent house from a TV tray. So that's what we'll be making today. Real quick, before we get started, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone for commenting, subscribing, supporting me. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. Lately, something I've been wanting to do more of is thrift flips. For this DIY, I decided to make a trip to my local thrift store and see what they have, and I found these awesome TV trays that were only $2.99 with an additional 25% off, which is a bargain deal. I brought one home and gave it a good scrub. Then I started by removing the bolt that held the legs together. Next, I removed this metal brace in the middle and tried to envision how I would like the teepee to be. One side of the legs removed completely and had a dowel at the bottom and the other side stayed attached to the tray. So I decided to match the other side of the legs by adding a dowel to the bottom as well. I removed the wood they were attached to and was left with these two pieces. I pre-drilled holes in the dowel and secured it together with screws. Here's what I was left with once everything was taken apart and the dowel was added to the other legs. Again, I tried adding the teepee portion to see how it would look and I noticed a lot of extra wood sticking out and I wasn't a huge fan of how it was looking at this point. So I've been sitting here thinking, this table is starting to look like a teepee. Um, I felt like I was on a roll, but I'm not really feeling it right now because all the wood on the edges is really bugging me. I took a break a little while ago and my husband actually came up with an idea and I'm thinking why didn't I think of this earlier because it's really a no-brainer. So instead of doing it narrow like this, because I'll have all this wood sticking out on the sides and that was kind of bugging me. He said to flip it over and make the teepee wider and yeah, that'll solve my extra wood on the edges problem. So I went ahead and removed the bars that were left and reattached the other recycled bars to the other sides of the tray. Here's a before and after. This eliminated all the extra wood on the edges and made the teepee a bit wider. Perfect, just when I wanted. Okay, notice one section of the legs is smaller than the other. This is how it should be. I picked up both legs, making sure the dowels were at the bottom and aligned the two pieces of wood together. Following that, I pre-drilled and secured it with a regular screw. I did this to both sides and the top portion of my teepee was complete. Now all I had to do was attach it to the base. I positioned my dowels on the outside of the wooden bars and pre-drilled some holes before securing it with a few screws. And that's it, my teepee is pretty much complete. Okay, since I wasn't a huge fan of how yellow the wood was, I went ahead and whitewashed it with this barathane wood stain. This stuff is amazing. Now, the fun stuff. Since this was a thrifted DIY, I tried to use leftover supplies from previous projects, which is why I tried using burlap in the first place. It wasn't a terrible look, but not what I was going for. I wanted a clean white look and even went as far as painting the burlap white, but that didn't help at all. It still looked yellow. So I finally gave in and made a trip to Joanne's Fabric where I got this pretty gray felt for the pillow and white fabric to cover the teepee. We also picked up some of this cute jute rope to make him a cat scratcher board. To begin, I cut the white fabric to fit the teepee and added one inch slits to the sides. I draped it over the teepee, making sure the slits were at the top where the wood bar is. Then I flipped the teepee over and stapled the fabric to the bottom, making sure I kind of stretched it so it had a tight fit. I did this to both sides. I tried to pick fabric that wouldn't fray a ton. This one was a bit fuzzy and didn't fray at all. To make the edges of these slits neater, I folded them down and attached this string with hot glue on the inside. I did this to both sides, then tied a bow in the middle. Cute, right? Okay, to make his scratch board, I cut a piece of plywood measuring the same height as the teepee and glued a piece of dowel at the top. Then I whitewashed the wood to match the teepee and attach jute rope to it by hot gluing and wrapping it around the wood. That's it, this scratch board is removable and can be displayed on the floor as well. Whatever your cat prefers. Here's how the teepee looks all done and I am so in love with how it turned out. All the little details took way too long to do but totally worth it. Now we're just hoping Todd warms up to it and picks it over his old little nook. Thank you so much for watching this video, hopefully you're inspired to make your own teepee for your pet. 
Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you all next time. Bye!